This is a normal distribution, or a bell curve. On the x-axis, we have the scores. On the y-axis, we have frequencies. Frequencies are how often a score occurs. It might help to visualize with something like an IQ. Here, the mean IQ is 100. Now we're going to look at deviations. So here we have one standard deviation. For our IQ, one standard deviation above the mean would be 115. 85, however, would be one standard deviation below the mean. We see that 68% of the population will fall between one standard deviation above the mean, one standard deviation below the mean. Next, we see that 95% of the population will fall with two standard deviations above the mean or two standard deviations below the mean. Next, we see that 99.7% of the population fall between three standard deviations above the mean and three standard deviations below the mean. We have the 68, 95, and 99.7 rule. That means that 68% of the population is going to fall between one standard deviation below and one standard deviation above the mean. 95% of the population will fall from two standard deviations below to two standard deviations above the mean. And 99.7% are going to fall from three standard deviations below the mean to three standard deviations above the mean.